So I'm currently on my way to get a small medical procedure done on my right elbow. Everybody has bursa sacs at their joints, um, like your shoulder, your elbow, your knee. And these things can be damaged and fill with fluid and swell up. A lot of times it's reassorbent in the body, but sometimes it's not, it has to be drained. So I'm heading up to see my cousin, who's a nurse practitioner, and he's going to drain this bursitis on my elbow today. So this all began with an injury many, many years ago to my elbow. I probably fell down on ice or concrete or something. And I've always had a tender spot on the tip of my right elbow. And I recently re-injured it back in December when I slipped off the top step of my tractor and banged my elbow really hard on the bottom step. And it actually pierced the skin and bled a little bit. So it's been really sore for the last couple months and I was arm wrestling my son um, maybe a month ago and that really irritated it and it swelled up and it has not gone down since. I've tried icing it, putting compression bands on it, thinking that it might reassorb into the body but it just will not go down. This thing's looking pretty nasty. I'm tired of it. It's getting so bad the darn thing needs its own jock strap. My wife now has a new nickname for me and she calls me Scroat. Scroat. <laughs> my entire extended family won't quit making fun of me. So let's get to the office and get this thing taken care of. So I'm sitting here in the office waiting to uh, get this procedure done and I was thinking to myself, how can I possibly tie this into my backpacking channel? And I figured it out. Check out what I am wearing today. My brand new Ultra Temp 1.5s. So far I'm loving these shoes. Can't wait to get them out on the trail and give you a full review on them. All right, I'm in the examining room, what? getting ready to have this procedure done by my cousin, nurse practitioner Gildow. I'm so ready to get this thing drained. So here is what we are getting taken care of today. Let's go ahead and get Mr. Scrope taken care of here. Oh, well, I greatly appreciate that. You're very welcome. And you got the needle there. In my home, your nickname is Dr. Gil Gilliam. That's right. Fantastic. SpongeBob. Dr. Gil Gilliam. Cold. No, no, let's get it nice and white there. Yeah, freeze that son of a gun. Let's get it right in there until we turn white. Keep going, keep, Ooh, going, keep, going, keep going, keep going. All right, perfect. Ah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you shouldn't have felt anything. Hardly any. I think I felt the... Um, the uh, spray, what do you call that stuff? The freezing stuff. I think I felt the freezing more than I did the needle. So now the straw collar fluid is what we expect. Right, and we're getting a little reddish. Yep. Yeah, you you had, Mr. Squirt was full. Yeah, I'm gonna. Do you want me to go grab another syringe? Am I in, 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 in the way? I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. You know, I think we. Do you want to grab another one? Uh, Get that thing deflated. Yeah, let's go ahead and do one more syringe on that. <laughs> yep. Mr. Scrote was definitely full. Mm -hmm. So that's already just about 25 cc's of fluid right there, which if you look online on the YouTube videos mm -hmm. there, that's more than... Uh, Is that more than most of the other ones? That's more than what wow. most of them are, yeah. You, uh, but this color fluid is definitely uh, consistent with uh, injury to it. Really? Yeah. Okay, so normally you would get a straw color fluid and this is more of a pinkish red. Yep. Which means I had an injury to it. Right, right. Just drink, leaking that fluid all over, aren't you? So you're going to see there's a couple more cc's in there? Yeah. Look at that. Still like another good five to seven cc's in there. Wow. All right. And then we'll go ahead and put some a little bit of steroid in there. Okay. So that way it'll help you reduce that swelling. And we'll take this. Let's go right on out. Already done? Already done, man. Wow. So professional. You like that? I am so fortunate to have a first cousin who is a nurse practitioner. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Dr. Gil Gilliam, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Dr. Gil Gilliam, SDE and SE. Snail disease expert and snail expert. I'm glad I could take care of uh, Mr. Scrote for you. <laughs> yeah. Scrote. <laughs> I need a new nickname now. I can no longer be called Scrote. <laughs> At least I don't have to wear my jock strap anymore. For my elbow. <laughs> All right, so you want to keep this sucker covered and then um, ice it tonight for okay. about 20 minutes or so. Okay. And by tomorrow morning, you, you should feel a lot better. Awesome. You, you may notice a little bit of soreness uh, mm -hmm. throughout the rest of today, but by tomorrow morning, you should be feeling pretty, pretty good. And how many days until I can get back into my uh, chin-ups? Uh, I, I would wait about five to seven days. Okay. Did you want to keep that? Oh my gosh. So that's all the fluid that came out of Mr. Scrove right there. Wow. Plus that one. And then and that one. So how what's the total CCs we got? So we got so that's nine CCs right there. And we got mm, I'm dripping your scrote right on over. Twenty-four. So we got thirty-three CCs of fluid right there. Woo! Thirty-three CCs. That's quite a bit. That's a YouTube record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you even feel that very much? No. Excellent, well done. An excellent, well done job by nurse practitioner Gildow. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Do you want? <laughs> My wife just came up with a new name. I'm now Gelding instead of Scrope. Completely deflated. Well, it feels really good to have my elbow back. So glad I got that procedure done. Hope I didn't gross you guys out too much. Thanks for watching. See you next time.